most of policy makers and leaders they are talking about patient-centric approach as the best format for a healthcare system. And if we want to describe it, what it would be right clinical intervention, which could be treatment, diagnosis, or prevention at the right time for the right individual. So this is a good, maybe is a good uh, description for patient-centric. But I found this is exactly the definition for precision or personalized medicine approach as well. So by considering this, we identify, uh, this defined about precision medicine, we need access to full data for four main data domain. Health data, it could be all our information on hospital, lab, uh, family doctor, everywhere. They are uh, categorized under health. The other one would be omics data. It's a uh, biomarkers. It, genomics is the most significant one. And as you see, maybe wrongly, when everybody talk about precision medicine, they just consider genomics study and genomics approach aspect of precision medicine. But it's not only genomics. It's very more comprehensive. And also metabolomics, lipomics, Lipodomics, microbiomics, all of those uh, other biomarkers, also they are under this category. The other very important information is about lifestyle. And in our published uh, report, we identified what could be under this category. It's about diet, activity, sleep, even uh, spiritual and religious, and all of the other can affect anybody of us uh, from lifestyle perspective. The fourth ma main data domain is environmental. Anything out of us, we call it exposal, and they can affect us. It can be chemical, physical, uh, bio biological, or anything, and we identified and define all categories and subcategories in our report. And in our result, we recommended that SDOH should be the fifth data domain for personalized medicine. We have some, oops, sorry. We have some overlapping between uh, uh, all SDOH, with maybe with lifestyle or the other one, but you will find some unique data entities that should be considered for uh, designing a personalized medicine approach. And there are lots of barriers because, uh, as you know, in this uh, event, all we are talking about those barriers and challenges. And in our study, we interviewed 18 people of uh, executive leaders in the healthcare system in Ontario. So this is the highlighted of barriers they mentioned. Inconsistent data governance, complexity of uh, legislation that we discussed a lot in our previous uh, panel, record linkage and data interoperability, data standard, managing big data. As you may know, uh, uh, health data, only health data, not lifestyle, uh, omics, ex, uh, environmental, only health data is the biggest big data around the world. So managing this data and prepared and integrated with other uh, required data domain, it's uh, challenging. <laughs>